from deckhand to captain on a large superyacht? How long will it take and how much will it cost? Let's find out. Work on a superyacht, move up through the ranks and maximize your potential. Hello and welcome back to Work on a Superyacht. And here we go with the complete process. What I'm going to do is put the total cost in euros down in the bottom left of your screen and the total time in months and days down in the bottom right. In the centre of the screen, I'm going to be listing the individual courses and exams that you need to take along with their cost and their time to do them. All of the prices are correct as of today and I've got them through a company called Blue Water. They've got training offices in Antibes, Parma and Fort Lauderdale. To be clear, they are not in any way affiliated with this video, they are not sponsoring this video, but I have used them for a number of courses, I am very happy with the service that they provide, and I am very happy to recommend them to you. Before we start, have a guess what you think this number in the corner is going to get to. Then when you get to the end of the video, let me know in the comments how your guess compared with the actual total. To get your super yacht career off the ground, you're going to need to start with the five basic STCW courses, which is going to cover fire prevention and firefighting, personal survival techniques, elementary first aid, personal safety, social responsibility, and also proficiency in security duties. Cost to you, 1,295 euros, time taken, five days. Next up, you're going to need an ENG1 or equivalent seafarer's medical. These are not offered by Blue Water, but expect to pay around about 120 euros. Time taken, about one hour. I've also included the RYA Powerboat Level 2, 495 euros, time taken, two days. After six months on board, and after you've filled out the first section of your training record book, you're going to be able to apply for a yacht rating certificate. No exam required here, you just need to provide the required documentation. Cost to you, 85 euros. Now, you don't have to get this, but by getting it, it allows you to take the next course straight away, the Efficient Deckhand course, EDH. And this one's really important to do early on because it is the only course that you're required to have done at least 18 months before applying for your Officer of the Watch 3000 Certificate of Competency. 1,050 euros, time taken, five days. Next up is the RYA Yachtmaster Offshore Theory and Practical. The theory you can do any time, but there are some prerequisites in terms of experience for the practical. So let's say it takes you another six months to gain this experience before you're ready to go for your Yachtmaster. Cost to you €2,545, which includes the VHF license, professional practices course and commercial endorsement. Time taken, 14 days. And to be clear, this is for the motor Yachtmaster, which is more expensive than the sail Yachtmaster because as part of the practical course, you've got to pay for the fuel in the motor yacht. Now at this point, you could already become a super yacht captain up to vessels of 200 gross tons in volume. But if this is as far as you want to go, may I suggest that you at least go ahead and do the next ticket or qualification because it will just help you to be a much better master all round. You're going to need to do two more courses. That's the GMDSS, Global Maritime Distress and Safety System. It's a radio course. You've got the ROC and the GOC the Restricted Operator Certificate and the General Operator Certificate. I suggest you skip the ROC, go straight to the GOC because this gives you unlimited range. Cost to you €1,924, time taken 10 days. The other course is Helm Operational. There are two Helm courses, one is Operational, one is Management. You can't skip the Operational and go straight to Management, so Operational first. Cost to you, 799 euros, time taken, three days. In addition to doing these courses, you're gonna to need to hold your Yacht Master for at least six months to take the MCA Master 200 exam. Now, this exam is not mandatory, but I've done it and I highly recommend it, both if you only want to skip a vessel up to 200 tons, because in this instance, it sharpens your skills and your knowledge. But also, if you want to carry on up the ranks, it's a great stepping stone and it gets you into the MCA framework and way of thinking. Cost to you €245. Euros. Having passed that exam, you're going to be in a great place to carry on working your way up the ranks. But before we can move to the next qualification, the OOW3000, there's a few more courses we need to do. First up, EGDIS, Electronic Chart Display and Information System. 
1,400 euros. Time taken, five days. PSCRB, Proficiency in Safety Craft and Rescue Boats Other Than Fast Rescue Boats. 799 euros, time taken, three days. GSK, General Ship Knowledge, 1,335 euros, time taken, five days. And then the biggie, Navigation and Radar. Cost to you, 3,410 euros, time taken, 15 days. Now it's just a case of continuing to build your sign-on time and sea time as you build up to the required amount for the OOW 3000 exam. It's now going to be about time that you renew your ENG1. They're only valid for two years, so that's going to be another 120 euros. Once you've finally reached that 36 months of sign-on time, along with the associated seagoing service, you're going to be ready to apply for and set your Officer of the Watch 3000 exam. Now, in preparation for this, you can do a preparation week. It's not mandatory, but it's advisable, so let's budget for it. 1,149 euros, time taken, five days. Then you're going to be ready to actually take the exam, 245 euros. Congratulations, you can now step up to the rank of second officer on a large super yacht and proudly wear those two stripes on your epaulettes. But we're not finished. Here come some more courses for you. The IYT Master of Yachts Unlimited. Now, you could just as easily do the RYA Yachtmaster Ocean, but I find that the IYT is a bit more straightforward to get. IYT, it stands for International Yacht Training. They are a training body just like the RYA, the Royal Yachting Association. And Blue Water don't offer this course, but I found somewhere in the UK that does. It's £1,500, so let's call that €1,650 cost to you, plus five days of your time. Advanced firefighting, 1,550 euros, time taken, four days. Medical first aid, cost to you, 845 euros, time taken, four days. Helm management, cost to you, 1,099 euros, time taken, five days. With these additional four courses, you're now going to be able to upgrade your certificate of competency from officer of the watch to chief mate. That gets you three stripes on your epaulettes. There's no additional exam to take. All you need to do is send your four certificates to the MCA. They will verify them and they will endorse your Officer of the Watch COC. Cost to you 110 euros. Now it's time for the master's courses and at this point you're going to be really glad that you're earning a Chief Officer salary. Let's start with medical care 999 euros. Time taken five days. Seamanship and meteorology. 1,335 euros, time taken, five days. Stability, 1,335 euros, time taken, five days. Business and law, again, 1,335 euros and five days. Navigation, radar and ARPA. ARPA stands for Automatic Radar Plotting Aid. Cost to you, 3,015 euros, time taken, 10 days. Celestial Navigation and, you guessed it, 1,335 euros and five days. In addition to these courses, you'll also need to have held that Officer of the Watch 3000 ticket for at least 12 months and built up the required amount of bridge watchkeeping time. Once this is done, you can go for that MCA Master 500 qualification. That's Master on yachts up to 500 gross tons in volume. But before we get there, we must go back and redo that ENG1 once more. Now, it isn't mandatory to take this exam on the way to our final goal of Master 3000, but it is advisable because some of the courses that I've just mentioned do expire. And if you don't take either the 500 or the 3000 in time, you'll have to do them all over again. So let's budget for doing this exam. Let's budget for Another prep week, 1,149 euros. Time, five days, and then to actually sit the exam, that's another 245 euros. Congratulations, you can now proudly wear four stripes, at least on yachts up to 500 gross tons in volume. You'll be pleased to hear that there are no more courses to do before going for that final qualification of Master 3000. It's just a case of continuing to hold that Officer of the Watch ticket. You must have held it for 24 months and, of course, continue accruing the required amount of bridge watchkeeping hours. 
Once those additional 12 months have passed, you'll be ready to go for your exam. Now, you may or may not want to, but let's budget again for a final prep week. That's another 1,149 euros and five days of your time. To sit the exam itself, that's another 245 euros, and then you'll finally be able to apply for your Master 3000 Certificate of Competency and wear those four stripes on yachts all the way up to 3,000 gross tons in volume. And according to my calculations, that's a total cost of 34,532 euros. Total time, five years, and time spent doing courses, 135 days. I think you can see then that this is a big undertaking. It's a professional industry, and people work really hard and spend a lot of time and money to work their way up the ranks. Gone are the days when you could get these qualifications relatively easily. There didn't used to be half so many courses that you needed to do, or requirements that needed to be fulfilled. But I think this is a good thing because it's actually raised the standard of the yachting industry, and it now receives a lot more respect from the rest of the merchant navy. More importantly for us as yacht crew, it's resulted in a better regulated and safer working environment. In terms of cost for all of these courses, shop around and you may be able to get some a little bit cheaper. But trust me, when it actually comes to it, what's really going to matter is availability and your ability to actually get the time off to go and do these courses. In terms of time taken, it's actually going to take a lot longer than this because I've simply back-to-backed -back everything as if it were done perfectly with not a single day missed. In reality, that's probably not going to happen. Maybe it takes a little bit longer to accrue your sea time, or maybe you need to take a little time off here or there. So let's say if you could get all of this done in six, maybe seven years, you'd be doing pretty well. If you want to serve as officer or master on yachts above 3,000 gross tons, like this or this, then you're going to need to undertake a whole different training program, which we don't have time to go into here. But I've done a video speaking about this, and I'll link it right here. For all the prices I've mentioned, please check out the link to Blue Water in the description below. And for all of the other requirements about sea time and the different courses that you need, please check out Merchant Shipping Notice 1858. I'll put a link down in the description below. And as you can probably tell, I'm pretty well up on this document. I've read it back to front, inside out, every which way. It really interests me. I've spent a lot of time working out what I need to do, when I need to do it. So if there's anything you're unsure of, please just drop me a line down in the comment section below and I'll do my best to help you out. Finally, if you want to see what life is like for a super yacht captain who has already done this training, please do check out the Super Yacht Captain's channel. He recently shared one of my videos with his community, for which I'm very grateful. If you've come over from there, a very warm welcome to you. It's great to have you with us. And with respect to this video, if you found some value in it, a like would be fantastic, a sub would be amazing, and I very much look forward to seeing you next time.